How loud is a Formula One car? Right out, and away we go. 140 decibels. That's how loud. Louder than a fighter jet taking off from an aircraft carrier. Louder than an arena crowd screaming at the top of their lungs. To give you a frame of reference, the ear starts to hurt at 120 decibels. And 140 decibels is four times as loud as that. So it's loud, very loud. And I loved every single second of it. Okay, so I'm here at the Qatar Grand Prix with the Aston Martin Racing Team, as well as Crypto.com to see what happens when you put together billionaire money with the best engineer that money can buy. First off, let me introduce the team. We have Connor, goof and a gaff, hoot and a half. That boy is always down for a good time. And then we have Emmett, photographer savant. That guy's hands are perpetually glued to his camera. And lastly, the guy that you know and you love, Lishan, who's behind the camera for every single one of the exciting projects that I shoot. So we're here with the Crypto.com team to shoot a commercial. But that doesn't mean we won't eat as much food and drink as much champagne as we can, because we're here to have a good time while having as much fun as possible. When we arrived, I was so focused on getting the job done, I completely forgot how extravagant and opulent these Formula One events are. I mean, our reception into the space was ridiculous. We came down a red carpet as local drummers and singers performed for us, and fresh fruit juice was handed to us, because obviously it's the Middle East, they can't really give you champagne. Uh, and all of a sudden, the sound of the cars hit you like a brick. It's insane, and just when you'd have your heart completely filled, with just listening to the cars, someone from the crypto team or the Aston Martin team would come up to you and be like, we got a little something up our sleeve. The access that we had was absolutely insane. We got to watch the Aston Martin team practice their pit stop as quick as possible, which was bizarre to see people functioning at such a high level. During the halftime shows, we got to see the stunt drivers and stunt cyclists performing from the middle of the track. We could just be standing there while everyone else was in the stands. I don't know how, how, how do we have this much access? We could go anywhere in the entire facility as long as we were tested every single day, which we did, which was a pain, but absolutely necessary. Now, as much as sipping champagne and eating hors d'oeuvres in the paddock was really interesting, there's nothing that beats the sound of a crowd, the sense of camaraderie as everyone is roaring as the race begins. So, for the race start, we decided to head down to the general stats, and boy, was it insane. Just like that, the race began. Now, if you're into Formula One, this is for you. Everyone on the track thought that this might be the opportunity for Verstappen to overthrow Lewis Hamilton, but somehow, Lewis Hamilton pulled it out of the bag. But it's Hamilton from Gasly Alonso, then comes Lando Norris, Max Verstappen on the inside, has made a brilliant start, but then goes off the track as Fernando Alonso closes the door on him. Verstappen still trying to battle away with Lando Norris, and he's got a heads of the McLaren. Back to back victories for Lewis Hamilton as he now sees the checkered flag in the distance, powers down the main straight, and comes home to win the Qatar Grand Prix. Hamilton on top in Qatar. Throughout the entire race, Hamilton did not see another pair of taillights. The boy was in front for the entire race, and he won. <laughs> now we ended the Formula One trip on top of one of the tallest buildings in all of Qatar. The views were insane, and my heart was filled, but I had no idea that the next week of adventure was going to be absolutely mind-boggling. But you're going to have to wait for that. You're going to have to subscribe and come back next week because trust me, you don't want to miss this one. It's insane. <laughs> subscribe.